Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to Hot and Rich, a show about celebrities. I'm your host, Kate Raft. Today is Friday, February 5th, 2020. Ooh, Friday the 5th. You say that every week. You're. <laughs> what do you mean? You say it like as if it's like haunted, like Friday the 13th. Ooh, Friday the 5th. You know, next one's gonna. Next week's gonna be what? Friday the twelfth. Oh, that's close to Friday the thirteenth. That's actually pretty close. So you know, good try. Happy horny Friday, everybody! Cheers. I hope we're all enjoying a horny Friday beverage, I'm, whether I'm, it's water. I'm Jack, by the way. What? I'm Jack, by the way. Oh, that's Jack. <laughs> Demanding to be introduced. By the way, I'm Jack. I have to say, look, I, I've been teeth whitening for like four days now, and my teeth look whiter. Kind of. Don't you think? I think so. A little bit. Cheers to us all. Happy Horny Friday. Cheers to my white teeth. Um, If you're listening to this as a podcast, get on that YouTube that's, link. That's one of my favorite bands, Plain White Teeth. Oh, my God. Your jokes are so, like corny when you do this show hey it's corny friday jesus christ oh my god that's well, corny friday i guess it is corny friday anyway um yeah i've been teeth whitening i'm off twitter for the month and i actually feel very soothed and at peace with that decision i copied jack jack quit twitter altogether jocker since last episode he fully quit twitter you're like i actually like almost that one week jack off twitter how do you feel i feel like i actually feel good and i love to quit things and i made a big public stink about it so that it would be embarrassing if i came back and i i think i did you know succeed at making it too embarrassing so i i definitely will not be coming back so you're not coming back to twitter at all no so you spilled all the tea last Friday, and then now it's just gone. I spilled the tea. It got all over my you know, shirt and pants. And then I also told a bunch of stories on Friday, too. And, oh, you're making a joke. Anyway, Jack's off Twitter. I'm taking the month off. Twitter sucks. It's all about Twitch and podcasts and... You know, you don't need to hear my short thoughts. I want you to hear my long thoughts. But I'll be back on Twitter in March. Don't worry. I'll be back. I need attention too much to not be on Twitter. So I'll be back. What else is new? I mean, the Super Bowl is this weekend? Question mark. Do we, yeah. I, not to be like that person but i like really don't care about the super bowl never have never will it's not my thing i don't care for it i call it the big game you call it the big game yeah it's like the it's like tom brady's in it right yes it's it's the tampa bay buccaneers and the uh looking it up now um, Kansas City Chiefs. It does kind of seem like no one cares about the Super Bowl this year, which I actually really respect about all of us as a culture that we don't respect the Super Bowl. No. Um, I, I did think about, but I didn't do it because it's the Super Bowl. I did think about buying chicken wings at the farmer's market today and trying to make them on Sunday, but oh, I, decided I, to, I decided to just buy a whole chicken instead. Okay. I would have had chicken wings. That sounds fun. But we don't have any Frank's Red Hot Sauce, and I didn't want to go through the process of getting it and, you know, making the right type of sauce to, to put them in and everything. So I decided, you know what? To heck with it. Who I'll has the time? Who has the time? Um, yeah, the weekend. It's not even a good halftime act, I feel like. like. The weekend is fine, but, like, also, like... Well, I mean, okay, so, sure, obviously that's when the Super Bowl is happening, but who's performing? The weekend. The week. Yes, I understand. I know. I know that obviously the Super Bowl is on this going to be this Sunday. But uh, 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 who's wait. doing the music for the halftime I'm, show? I'm stopping you right now. Did I already talk about this last week? 
Am I having deja vu? I think it was, I think it was a different story about the weekend. Am I having fucking deja vu? Did I you... believe it was a different story about the weekend. I literally think I just talked about. I think that I just talked about this. I, I know that we've recently talked about the weekend, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it was about the super bowel. The super bowel. That's sup- you after you eat those chicken wings. Superb owl. That's you after you eat those chicken wings, my wow. man. You call me the super bowel. Jack had some hummus tonight. He said it's making him farty. I did not use that gross of a term. I actually said I'm tooting quite a bit. Sorry, I didn't mean to use a gross term. Tooting is so much better. You know what? I know I touched on it last week, and I'm touching on it again. I don't feel like getting into the Madison LaCroix, A-Rod, and J-Lo thing. You know Madison LaCroix from Southern Charm. It's a whole fucking thing. Madison Apparently, Madison LaCroix is that like the is that like the grapefruit, um, like like fizzly water? No. Apparently, she sexted a Rod or something. Like, I fully believe it that she's like trying to slide into people's DMs. I don't care for it. You know, people are saying, "Oh, she's thirsty." I'm like, "Of course she's thirsty. She's on Southern Charm." This is not news. Yeah, it's it's hot in the South. Obviously, you're going to get really parched. What okay. are we talking about? I don't think you know what I'm talking about, and that's totally fine. We're just going to not address that, and we're going to move on. Um, But, yeah, you know, I I had a busy work week. I'm now off work for two weeks. We got a two-week break from work. So I'm, like, this is kind of like last day of school vibes. Like, I'm having a rosé. You know, I did my makeup. I'm going to stay up late and watch my favorite Nat Geo Wild show. Which Life is? Life Below Zero. Mm. Mm. Like, I'm feeling good. I have two weeks off. Life Below Zero? What is this? My bank account? I mean, <laughs> I, that's like not even a joke. Right? I mean, it wasn't It wasn't a joke a day and a half ago, but then I transferred money from the PayPal. It's not. It's a joke now. Oh my God! J- a Jane in the chat said, "I'm starting Life Below Zero on my stream tonight." Wow! Oh my God! Everybody, tune into Jane's stream tonight. Ooh, she actually said Life Before Zero, which kind of sounds like a pro-life thing. Oh. To be honest with you, it might be a different. Is that thing. a different thing? Life Before Zero. Life Below Zero is what I watch, and it's about people living in the Arctic, and it's freaking great. I don't know why I, I listen. Okay, so I'm really into Calm app right now. This is not Spawn, although I'll take their money if they want. But like, I'm I'm finding that I need more specific meditations. I want a meditation that tells me how to take a bath, and I've only been able to find like one on YouTube. There's not enough. I talked about this on Jack AM, but I'm talking about it again. If anybody out there knows of a guided bathtub meditation. I would like, or you could just, can you just record it and text it to me on a voice memo or something? Like, I want someone to make me a bathtub meditation where they're like, scrub your butthole and thank your butthole for digesting and pooping out your food for you. Thank you, butthole. Now scrub your toes. Thank you, little toes, for walking on all that dirty floor that you don't mop. You know what I mean? I'm really into baths lately. Baths. It's all about baths. Kate Shapiro sent me a bath bomb as a gift for no reason. I used it last night. It was just lovely. It was just lovely. I'm really into freaking baths. I Maybe I should do release like a line of bath accessories and then like start a podcast that's just bathtub bathtub meditations should we start a bath cast the bath cast should i do a spinoff podcast called the bath cast uh is it about saddam hussein's uh political party bath save america should i do a podcast called bath save america i think i'm gonna do it stay tuned I just came up with it, but stay tuned, okay? Stay tuned, wow. everybody. And also check out this podcast is self-care, of course. Wow. Um, all hey, right. Should we just 
get into the topics? You know our Ray-Ban glasses here? What? Take off, take off your pair of Ray-Bans for a second here. Why? Just because look at the on the arms of them, there's a little plastic thing at the end. You see? See how there's a little black pla Oh, mine's a little different. And my plastic thing is, is, is now lost. I've lost it already. What? The little plastic thing came off. I just noticed it. Now there's only metal on the left side. I just bought you these glasses. I know. Like I can bring it in and show it to you. Oh, my God. Are you fucking kidding me? Jack broke his glasses. He's had them for like two days. This piece like is lost. This thing slides off. And it's okay, like well, gone. you're going to have to find it. You're going to have to find the piece that's missing. This is not good podcast content. I have to edit this out now. And if I forget to edit it out, I'm sorry. You deserve better. I can't believe Jack broke the glasses. I just got him those literally days ago. I'm actually really pissed off about it because the right side like feels better than the left side. Yeah, of course it does. I don't know what that I, is. It because your head's too sweaty. Where the hell did it go? I'm really pissed off about it. Me too. I think it's in bed. I hope it's not when when you were on your hike, because then we're never getting it back. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Should we just get into our topics? Like, I guess. A little bit of topicking. Okay. Ilaria Baldwin is back, everybody. Ilaria Baldwin. Hey, cucumber? Our queen is back on Instagram after her almost month long break. Wow. And, or I guess over a month long break. And honestly, I'm thrilled. I've missed Ilaria, our queen, our different kind of Bostonian, our woman of two cultures, um, Hillary from Boston. Mm -hmm. So she posted on Instagram the most like non apology, like dumb statement, <laughs> like truly like just the dumbest statement ever. It says, quote, I've spent the last month. Oh, wait, sorry. I have to do this. <laughs> sorry. I don't want this to be like an offensive accent. But I have to do this in the Ilaria accent, which is not a, and I'm not doing an impression of a Spanish woman. I'm doing an impression of Ilaria Baldwin, a not Spanish woman who is doing an impression of a Spanish woman. Okay, so here's here's her statement. Ilaria Baldwin, I've spent the last month listening, reflecting, and asking myself how I can learn and grow. My parents raised my brother and me with two cultures, American and Spanish and I feel a true sense of belonging to both the way I've spoken about my and my deep connection to two cultures could be better could have been better explained I should have been more clear and I'm sorry sorry I'm proud yeah because she's you know Spanish is one of her cultures and may sure. speak with a lisp yeah so, I'm sorry I'm proud of the way I was raised, and we're raising our children to share the same love and respect for both. Being vulnerable and pushing ourselves to learn and grow is what we've built our community on. And I hope to get back to the supportive and kind environment we built together. I had to respect both of her cultures in my impression. <laughs> Should I do the whole thing again in a Boston accent? Just We built it together. I spent the last month listening, reflecting, and asking myself, how can I learn and grow? My parents raised my brother and me with two cultures, American and Spanish, and I feel a true sense of belonging to both. The way I've spoken about myself and my deep connection to two cultures could could have been more better explained. I should have been more clear, and I'm sorry. I'm proud of the way I was raised, and we're raising our children to share the same love and respect for both. Being vulnerable and pushing ourselves to learn and grow is what we built our community on. And I hope to get back the supportive and kind environment we've built together. Wow. Okay. Wow. I'm Hillary. Okay. <laughs> so I had to do her statement in, in both accents to respect both of her cultures. She's a woman of two cultures. Um, <laughs> even though she only went on a few vacations in Mallorca and her family has been in America since you know, like colonies. 
Anyway, this is the this is the picture she posted with it. Oh, there we go. Let me try to load that again. Here's the picture she posted with it. Oh, here we go. There's the pic. Anyway, wow. <laughs> our next topic. Kanye has moved his 500 pairs oh. of sneakers out of his and Kim's Hidden Hills estate. Wow. Which means, officially, the divorce is finalized in the court of sneakers, which for Kanye is the highest court in the land. Crazy, right? I mean, sneakers is like, he he's, a, first of all, He's a sneak, one of the most famous sneaker designers of all time, right? Name oh, yeah. one other guy who designed a bunch of sneakers. Michael Jordan, but I don't think he designed them. He just is on the sneaker. I I can't think of even any of them. Like, Kanye's maybe the most famous sneaker designer. I can't name another sneaker designer. I know there's more famous sneakers. But I, you know, who's John? Someone said John. Cosmo Cat in the chat says John Nike. Is that a, is that real? Is there really a guy named John Nike? I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Yeah, I think well, Nike's like a Greek that I think god. Nike is a Roman god. Yeah, um, Roman god. A, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say next. Anyway, this is kind of crazy. A source has leaked to uh, page six originally that Kanye moved his 500 pairs of sneakers, his famous sneaker collection, out of Kim's house. So I think we kind of can get the sense that she's getting the house, right? He touched down on a private jet in Van Nuys earlier in the week. This is it. This is it. This is the real divorce. If you didn't think it, it was happening. Really sad. It's happening now. Jesus. Okay. Sneakers. That The custody of the sneaker is more important than the custody of the children. Let's be honest. That, that's Seriously. Meanwhile, Kim's in Turks and Caicos. She doesn't want to be there to see the sneakers get moved out. And she's like partying with Stassi, baby. And she's like, everyone, all these, like, I saw this fucking headline that pissed me the fuck off today. And I'm not even going to post a screenshot of it, but it was Kim in her fucking bikini, like with her very expensive personal trainer, uh, plant-based personal chef, uh, many surgeries body. And someone was like, Kim flaunts her revenge body amidst divorce. And I was like, this is not a revenge body. Like, she's always had this body. <laughs> and it's not a body that a person can naturally have. It's not a revenge body. She's always had this insane body that is purchased from the body store. The body shop in the mall. Uh, who has the kids right now, says Lord Gugu. I'm sure it's a nanny. And I'm sure that answer is always the nanny. The nanny? And I'm sure Fran they've got a great Drescher? nanny. I mean, I think that Chris, maybe they're at Chris Jenner's house. I don't fucking know. They're with Fran Drescher? Chris Jenner. Oh, the nanny. The oh. nanny. I swear to God, Jack only listens to like every other word that I'm saying and then is like, uh, uh. Here's a corny joke. Hey, I'm trying to buy temple tips over here. Wait, you can buy them? Oh, yeah. I'm For the exact up. type of glasses you have? I have found my exact glasses, which are a pair 6414 at size 55. They're engraved in the side of the of the uh, arm. And I found that I can get my replacement temple tips. Uh, they're only $5, but they cost $8 to ship. <laughs> oh, my God. You're really going to so buy I'm it? I'm going to be ordering my temple tips immediately. Okay, good for you, Jack. Get those temple tips. Need my temple Maybe tips. Maybe we'll find it, but it's good to have an extra, you know? It'd be an extra pair anyway. It's good to have an extra. Okay, this story was going around this week. Jennifer Coolidge went on the Kelly Clarkson show, and she told this story, because that's what you do when you go on like a talk show. You tell a little cute story. And her story was that many years ago, she went on a trip to Hawaii, and while on that trip, she posed as identical twins to date two guys who were best friends with each other. Pretty and she funny. posed as two different people. She said she had an identical twin and she dated them both for two weeks and got away with it. Wow. Like, we have to stand. Jennifer Coolidge is like fucking iconic. 
we have to stand. We have no choice but to, as they as they say. We have no choice but to. We have no choice but to. Man, honestly, that's an Archie situation she got herself in. What? Archie did that kind of shit in the comics. He'd I know, be going it's on very two Archie. Not once. Riverdale Archie, but like OG Archie, yeah. Yeah, classic Archie. Like hijinks Archie. Yeah, you know, classic Archie. Classic Archie situation. Um, yeah, she said, you know, it's really was sort of a great decision because when you're younger, you just get away with anything. I mean, when you're, I'm sure she was like hot as fuck. When you're hot, you can also get away with everything. How do I know? Because I'm so hot. Okay. Have you seen me lately? I get away with anything. Okay. I actually have an identical twin that also hosts this show. Her name is Kate Raft, but same spelling too. Uh, so that happened. <laughs> yeah, the new season of Riverdale does look bananas. I don't watch the show, but um, uh, one of the sh- shows that I write for recently had Lily Reinhardt on as a guest. And there was that, or not Lily Reinhardt, Madeline Petch. Anyway, um, there was that crazy thing with Lily Reinhardt where they were like, where like someone, po- some like Barchi stan posed as Lily Reinhardt and like actually like did an interview with Seventeen magazine <laughs> and it got published. Wow. And you know what I mean when I say Barchi stan. I actually thought you missed set. What, what's Barchi? The 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 Riverdale stands who want. Betty and Archie to get together. Man, the more things change, the more they stay the same. I mean, for real, it's like we've classic... all we've all forever had a ba- had a lot of feelings about which one Archie ends up with. Me, I gotta go with Betty. Veronica's uptight, and her father is rich, and I think Betty is really who Archie should end up with. But do, hey, do you I'm really think classic... that? I'm talking about classic comic book Archie where he like was walking on top of like fences and stuff like that and like, you know, stealing a pie from a windowsill and shit. I mean, that's classic Archie shit. Not like not the new Archie where it's like Jughead is like pan or something like that. Is like pan? Like oh, pansexual. Yeah. Oh my god. All right. Well, we got to talk about fucking um Army Hammer. Okay. Army Hammer, the cannibal alleged fucking guy. We all know. I'm not going to catch you up. You fucking know. You know the deal. His ex-wife, Elizabeth Chambers, (laughs) has broken her silence, so to speak. She gave a statement and then she posted this, which is like an Instagram post of her laptop set up in the Cayman Islands. And she said, still my Zoom sitch. And then she added... And also, how much sage is too much sage? Asking for a friend, obs. And I'm like, Man. oh, she's like saging. Honestly, it's probably rough to get the smell of like burning human flesh out of the walls. I mean, where's the lie? No lie there. Yeah, she's saging that freaking dude out of her life. And honestly, like, she's going to need more sage. She's only got a bundle of like two to three sticks of sage she's gonna need more sticks of sage listen i fucking love sage and if i was army hammer's ex-wife i would order maybe an entire private plane worth of sage to the cayman islands unless it does does sage grow naturally in the cayman islands i don't think so probably gonna have to fly that shit in anyway here is her actual statement She said, for weeks, I've been trying to process everything that has transpired. I'm shocked, heartbroken, and devastated. Heartbreak aside, I'm listening and will continue to listen and educate myself on these delicate matters. I didn't realize how much I didn't know. I support any victim of assault or abuse and urge anyone who has experience with this pain to seek the help she or he needs to heal. At this time, I will not be commenting further on this matter. My sole focus and attention will continue to be on our children, on my work, and on healing during this incredibly difficult time. Thank you all for your love and support. Thank you in advance for your continued kindness, respect, and consideration for our children and me as we find our ways to move forward. 
So is this an incredibly difficult time because of like the COVID and stuff and it's a normally difficult time or because her ex was outed as um, being like a cannibal guy? The second thing. Gotcha. Because there's like no COVID in the Cayman Islands. They cured it, I think. I mean, it's one of those places I think that has like two cases or something tops. I could be making that up. But that's just kind of my feeling because it's so remote and they have really strict quarantine guidelines. there. like they arrest people if they break quarantine in the Cayman Islands. Now that I know I don't have a temple tip, it's killing me. Jack, <laughs> <laughs> I feel for you, man, but it's like you got to fucking suck it up. All right, fine. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I love you. I want I'll, my temple tip. I'll help you look for the temple tip after the show. <laughs> All right. But right now we've got we've got to do the news. I'm a newswoman. I gotta do the news, man. I don't have time to talk about your temple tip. People gotta hear about fucking army hammer. Oh God, there's more. Apparently, his like. Lawyers did this whole article. Uh, I, I don't know if his lawyers did the article, but his law, his like legal team appears to be heavily quoted in this Variety article. The headline is Army Hammer's Hollywood career is in free fall as sex scandal explodes on social media. And they're like, he's not a cannibal. Like, da, 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 da. like it's just like consensual, like texting. And I'm like, well, they said he abused them. So like, <laughs> I mean, that that matters. <laughs> like it matters. Just because he didn't or not actually he eat them. a toe. What? Whether or not he ate them. You know, it's, abuse is still bad. Yes. Um, but he's still denying everything. And like, this is what this part of the article I thought was weird. It says, Variety has learned that Hammer's legal team is currently in the process of subpoenaing Instagram and Facebook to investigate the validity of the screenshots. So his legal team is trying everything under the sun to get him like to to like keep his career. They're like, uh, maybe if we subpoena Instagram, they'll tell us like that the screenshots are fake. Meanwhile, Army Hammer's like, uh, I know they're not fake. Yeah, guys, uh, good luck with that. He's like, uh, yeah, sure, try whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, they might be fake. Probably, yeah, probably they're fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah they might be fake. <laughs> Probably it might be fake. He's like texting right then being like, I want to eat your hand. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whatever. This, what were you saying? I this guy's a fucking hand. monster. <laughs> anyway, that this article is from yesterday. This one dropped today. Army Hammer dropped by WME. The hammer was dropped? The hammer was freaking dropped. He's dropped by. I think his. I think it might maybe. Oh, I thought. It, I thought he would come out of this unscathed, but now I'm like, maybe it's over. Maybe I mean, it's, it's, over. it's a tough position to be in because he was kind of being put in the like just handsome leading man position, and it's tough when your top Google is like, you know, that you want to eat people. I think it didn't help too that he was like Instagramming himself, like drinking and driving, and like. Take, talking about how drug tests to see his children won't pick right. up the PCP that he's on and shit like that. Right. Like I, like, I think if it would be one thing if, like, I don't know, I just think he's maybe a little fucked. Like, I think his SEO is too shitty now. <laughs> like, he can't do it. But what's crazy is that he's got, like, a Disney movie coming out that's already been filmed and, like, a bunch of other shit, like... What a bummer. He'll probably have to fall back on just, you know, his family's immense fortune now. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, he's still going to be like a fucking billionaire. That's such a bummer. You can't be in Hollywood movies anymore. He'll probably just have to live off of the immense wealth he was born with. Pee Pee Smoker in the chat is like, wait, what did I say? Oh, off to rehab and grow. Yeah, he's totally going to do that. He's going to yeah. like that's he's his legal team's trying everything. And then the last ditch effort is going to be like, I'm seeking treatment for my I'm, I'm actually a vegan now. I'm tre seeking treatment for my cannibalistic ways and I'm eating a plant-based diet. No humans in my diet anymore. I'm going to a cannibalism rehab for cannibals. Namaste. 
That's totally what his next move is going to be. Right? I mean, not to, not, no shame to people who seek treatment in rehabs. Yeah. Only shame to when Army Hammer does it. <clears throat> no shame even to cannibals. No shit. No, it's yeah, yeah. you shouldn't be a cannibal. If well, if it, what if you, what if it's like in the movie Alive, where they crash a plane? You know, what, what? about that? What movie? There was a movie once where they crashed a plane and everybody had to decide whether they would eat each other to stay alive. What about that situation? That's a fiction movie. Okay. What about the real guy that Cannibal the Musical was based on, Alfred Packer? Alfred Packer, the only man ever convicted of cannibalism in the United States. Well, he shouldn't have done that. He should have died then. We're moving on. <laughs> Lisa Vanderpump has a new show. It's called Overserved. It looks fucking terrible. This show looks bad. I mean, it's one of these shows that I think that it's like, oh, it's easy to film in quarantine and we can just get a bunch of like D-list celebrities to be in it. Like Mario, like okay, so here's the premise. She has people at her house. Casa, what is what does she call her house? Is somebody like taking a shit there? What's happening in that <laughs> picture? Okay. <laughs> the picture, okay, the least the, the Daily Mail headline is Lisa Vanderpump has a new TV show called Overserved about naughty dinner parties as the trailer shows the real housewives of Beverly Hills vet flashing her naked bottom. There's one shot in the trailer where she's like flashing her ass and they picked it for the <laughs> the Daily Mail. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be like, oh my god, these wacky dinner parties that Lisa Vanderpump throws, and it's like, you know, it's like this, 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 the the usual slate of like D list celebrities that will do anything. Go to some rich lady's house and flash their ass. Yeah, pretty much. That's actually wow. Lisa's ass. Oh, good for her. Sure, I guess. Nice plastic surgery to ass. You know, if I was Lisa Vanderpump, I would buy an ass like that. Anyway, um I would I would buy an ass to take down uh the trail at the Grand Canyon. Oh, like a mule? Yes. Like a donkey. That's what I would do. Yeah, me too. Ugh God. I this show just it, it exhausts me and it's only been announced for one day i'm already exhausted by it speaking of housewives of bh erica jane and tom girardi's 16 million dollar mansion burglarized first of all i think it's only like a six million dollar mansion but crazy man evil man girardi wrote that it was 16 million dollars in some fucking fraud thing that he did anyway this just got announced today it's a i'd I'm going to go ahead and say it. I don't believe that it was burglarized. I think this is fake. I think everything now that I every news that comes out about Tom and Erica, I'm like, that's fake. It's what's happening. What is fucking happening? Something ain't right here. Oh, also, I didn't even mention this, but apparently Erica was living next door to Army Hammer and like complained about his loud, like kinky sex. <laughs> and then he was so texting people being like, this is my next door neighbor. Like she's hot. She's gonna come over for dinner. Uh, weird. Guess what I'm serving? You. <laughs> I ate her liver with a side of fava beans. <laughs> I drowned it with a nice Chianti. <laughs> yeah. So apparently the the Girardis are saying they got robbed. I'm saying I don't think so. Probably. And then this article comes out. Uh, Erica Jane's ex is facing eviction from the house and he had he's under conservatorship from his brother now and they're going to maybe a victim. They're going to have to sell that house. Tom Girardi's flat broke. I'm kind of I'm having Tom Girardi fatigue. Um, no, Erica Jane, I'm going all over the place, but Erica Jane is renting a house in WeHo right now. One point five million dollar house. And apparently Army was living in the guest house next door. Anyway, next topic. Stormy turned three. Stormy Webster, Kylie's daughter with Travis Scott. And apparently one of her gifts was a four-figure Nike shoe collection. 
Four figures, baby. Four figures. That's in the thousands. Whatever. I hate articles. There's a whole genre of articles like about the expensive things that Stormy Webster gets that none of us will ever get. That's a whole genre of celebrity news. Is like the expensive things that Kylie gives to Stormy. I swear there's a different article every day about an expensive thing that Stormy gets that I shall never get. And honestly, whatever. Give it all to Stormy. Stormy will rule us all one day. Stormy's I like hope, the next. I hope uh, one day I can I can get onto uh, Stormy's compound and till her land. We're, we're all going to be working for Stormy one day. I hope so one day that I get a little plot of land that she allows me to work, and if I just you know give up most of the vegetables that I grow, she'll maybe let me keep one or two, and I can find a little pile of hay to sleep on. That's all I want. That's all I want. Sounds good. Sounds good. Anyway, that's it. We got to talk Marilyn Manson now. Trigger warning, content warning. This is fucking dark, what's going on with Marilyn Manson. He's being outed as an abuser by many women. Specifically, the first one to call him out has been Evan Rachel Wood, who said in a statement... The name of my abuser is Brian Warner, also known to the world as Marilyn Manson. He started grooming me when I was a teenager and horrifically abused me for years. I was brainwashed and manipulated into submission. I'm done living in fear of retaliation, slander, or blackmail. I'm here to expose this dangerous man and call the many industries that have enabled him. Call out the many industries that have enabled him before he ruins any more lives. I stand with the many victims who will no longer be silent. And then she did um, another Instagram story about him. A few days later, she said that he, she said, quote, I was called a Jew in a derogatory manner. He would draw swastikas over my bedside table when I, when he was mad at me. I heard the N word over and over. Everyone around him was expected to laugh and join in. If you did not, or God forbid, called him out, you were singled out and abused more. I've never been more scared in my life. And she added, my mother is Jewish and I was raised with the religion. Because she converted and wasn't of Jewish descent, he would say things like, that's better because I wasn't blood Jewish. Jesus. He's a fucking Nazi. Yeah, he's like an actual Nazi guy. Jesus Christ. Brian and I never had a BDSM relationship. We didn't even have kinky sex. We weren't having sexual intercourse when I was being tortured before or after. I thought I was going to die the entire time. Good Lord. And then this is just a little snippet that Phoebe Bridgers came forward with. She said, quote, I went to Marilyn Manson's house when I was a teenager with some friends. I was a big fan. He referred to a room in his house as the trigger warning, everybody, as the rape room. Good Lord. I thought it was just his horrible frat boy sense of humor. I stopped being a fan. Jesus. Anyway, this is just disgusting. I'm not going to get into more details, but there's there's more. And you can find it out there if you want. But he's just a fucking Nazi. He's a fucking Nazi. Dita Von Teese came forward saying that he didn't abuse her, but that she stands and believes the victims, I believe. She said something like that. Um, but she didn't, like, corroborate any of it. God. Yeah, I hate him. I hate that guy. Fucking Crazy. evil. Fucking evil. Fucking evil. Anyway, let's lighten the mood. Okay, let's lighten the mood. Let's talk about Ramona Singer from the Real Housewives of New York from Roni. Ramona is such a fucking like she's really taking a turn for the Trump. And in the funniest time for her to become a Trumper, like in the post presidential era of Trump, she's she's been she's been hanging out at Mar a Lago and now she's partying on a yacht. <laughs> Look at this. The she's partying on a yacht, even though Real Housewives of New York is is shut down right now because someone on the cast got COVID. And the cast the cast is like being told you have to quarantine someone in the cast has COVID. Meanwhile, 
Ramona's like, woohoo, I'm off work. Like, let's go to Mar a Lago and like hang out <laughs> in Palm Beach. So she's partying on a yacht. The bash held in Palm Beach was for Dr. Gina Gentry Ludon's birthday. Ludon was a member of Trump's campaign, Trump of the Trump campaign's media advisory board and the co-chair of Women for Trump 2020. Video of the party shows guests, including Queen of Versailles, Jackie Siegel, dancing close to each other and posing for pictures with no masks. Singer was all singer also posed for photos. As we've previously reported, Ramona Singer has been on a whirlwind tour of St. Bart's and Mar-a-Lago lately, even though Bravo has begged the Real Housewives of New York cast to stay home while they wait out a production shutdown caused by COVID-19 on set. Uh, now we've learned that she also attended a maskless yacht party this weekend with guests including U.S. Representative Matt Gates. <laughs> so she's fucking partying on a yacht like with, with that Trump. guy. And Matt Trump Gates. and people, yeah. Like, what the fuck? Ramona! Ramona! Do you think they've all gotten vaccinated? Or they just don't... I think they just don't give a fuck. But maybe they've all gotten the vaccine. I don't fucking know. Ugh. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. What a weird time to become like more Trumpy than ever. I mean, we've always known she's like a Trumper, but like I, I honestly think uh, if you're gonna be down um, in Florida, that's just that's that's the high life down there. You know what I mean? Like it's Trump world down there. Yeah, I mean it's kind of. It, I mean I don't know. Is it? I guess. Yeah. It's Trump world. They own it. They own it now. The Kushners all moved down. Trump's down there. Tom Brady and Giselle are down there. Listen. That's Trump world, baby. It's Trump country. Uh, now we're going to do the segment that we do every single damn little doggy day on the show. And that's, I got to ask a question. Are Zach Braff and Florence Pugh still together? Oh, boy. <laughs> They are. Thank God. Anyway, that's it. That's the show. It's uh, it's been another week. Thank you for tuning in. I love you all deeply, especially you. And you know who you are. I'm talking to you. Me? Your husband? No. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, yeah. That's it. I mean, thank you to Hog Trucker and Kate Shapiro for the theme song. Thank you to Jack. Thank you to you, my husband. I do love you. I love you too. Thank you to uh, Jack for producing. Follow us at Hot and Rich Show. I'm taking a Twitter break, but if you want, you can follow me at Kate Raft. I'll be back in March. Um, support the show by sending me a tip on Venmo at Kate Raft. And thank you so much to the people who have generously tipped me for doing this show. It is really the most direct way. You can just like give me money if you like the show. I take tips. The tip jar is open. Venmo at Kate Dash Raft. So thank you so much to the people that have done that. It always makes my day and I appreciate your support. Um, you can buy merch as well. That's another great way to support the show. That's hotandrichshow.com for the link. And you can follow us on YouTube at youtube.com slash hotandrich. And please rate and review us on apple podcasts please i check all the time because i'm a pathetic loser who needs <laughs> constant validation and i hardly get any reviews because i'm a pathetic loser who who checks constantly <sighs> um and uh we're live every friday at 7 p.m right here on twitch.tv slash hot and rich YouTube link in the show notes if you want to see a visual aid of this episode, although you finished it at this point, so it's probably too late, but whatever. Um, until next time, stay hot and stay rich. I'm so fucking rich.